Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we're going to be talking about the boat in the Aura Dorm, its lore implication as well as some theories regarding it. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. To start off, let's make sure we're all on the same page here. While progressing through the game, one will eventually find the Aura Dorm. This room contains a bunch of beds, a giant hole which we need to fall down to progress, and most importantly for this video, on the south side of the room there is a boat that may have been seemingly constructed here. This strange object may look familiar, and that's because for anyone who beat the entire game, later on in the game when we are back on the beach of the Isle of the Dead, you will see this very same boat is the one Elster uses to ride off of the island and continue her quest. For anyone skeptical that they are the same boat, using either first person mod or unity, one can compare them back to back, like so. However, why would the Auras build a boat in the first place? Lang is not a planet believed to have any water, rather it's a frozen icy mass, so they certainly don't have anywhere to use such a boat on. The first theory to explain this, and the one that's most likely true, is that the boat is just a result of the Auras being corrupted, and recreating what they saw on the Island of the Dead. To give a better explanation, part of the corruption is the spread of the image of the Isle of the Dead. This can be proven by getting caught in a Calibri's radius, an action that will cause this reward. So, if the image is part of the corruption, the Rs could have built the boat as a result of that image. As they went mad, they used their skills to reproduce one of the parts of the painting into their reality. An alternate theory is that this is literally the same boat we see on the beach. This idea takes all the same motives for the boat's creation, saying that yes, this is why the Rs are creating it. However, it also adds to it, saying that this is also the boat we see Elster ride. To explain this, one has to first believe that all parts of the game physically exist to a form. This currently isn't exactly proven, but it isn't exactly disproven. So, if this is believed, then the next step is to consider the normal geometry of the game. First, Nowhere is, technically speaking, below S23, and at the end of Nowhere, we emerge from within the island. Second, when we return to the island, we are still on the shore. However, the boat is now there, which we then take to continue to the game. So what does this mean? Well, if the boat literally exists, and many things literally exist, then technically, if the Rs continue creating the hole we see in-game down to the lower levels, then eventually they would get to nowhere. From where, it could be pushed onto the beach. I mean, they are all corrupted. Corrupted don't attack each other. I'm sure they could just push the boat through nowhere and get it to the beach. Quick note, this theory is the only one I've seen thus far that even tries to explain why the hole exists in the first place. I've seen no other explanations, and personally, I have no other explanations. I understand there is a decent bit of issues with accepting all these regions as being in one space with clearly irregular geometry. Could have the boat been pushed through all of them? Not sure, but seeing as Elster literally did travel physically through all of these regions, I don't find it impossible. So what is the importance of this theory and what does it do for interpretations of the game? Well, if the Rs truly built the boat that Elster uses to ride off the Island of the Dead into the last part of the game, it is symbolic that the facility helped her out perhaps as a sign of sharing the goal of ending the cycle in pain altogether. Before I finish, special thanks to Mackerelhead or Hilde in Unoff. They were nice enough to help me get a screenshot for this video's thumbnail. If you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe or to join either my main Discord link below, the unofficial Signalis Discord, or the r Signalis Discord, all of which are linked below. All three are awesome places that you'll be able to find people to talk about the Signalis do, and I hope you enjoy your time in any of them. But for today, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.